All right, hello and welcome on in everyone. So today we are headed over to the Stock Market Casino, also known as GameStop. So today I've been watching the activity with GameStop and it seems to be trading around uh, the, the range of 240 to 260. Um, and it, it went as high as 280 or 280 earlier today. So I'm just kind of watching it. I've been playing a little bit with options. So I figured I should go ahead and trade some options with you guys to show you guys what the heck is going on here. Just a full disclosure, I am completely gambling money and uh, it's totally possible I could lose all of this. But what I am attempting to do is basically buying the call once the once GameStop goes on the lower end uh, of where it's trading today and then sell it once it goes back up because uh, GameStop is such a volatile stock that these swings in the options are crazy. So I've been watching this one here. This is the one I've primarily been focusing on is the 265 strike price for this Friday, which is actually tomorrow. So these call options expire very quick, which means they are very volatile. Uh, I've been trying to get into the 265 in at the uh, $25 range and then sell it at 30. And every time it bounces back and forth between those price ranges, I, I try and buy it and sell it. Uh, so far, I've executed two successful trades on the day. Uh, I was able to get in at 25 and then sold it for 29. Got back, back in at 26 and then sold it for 30. So it's been a pretty successful day so far. Yesterday, I wasn't as lucky and I ended up losing that same amount. I, I think I bought in at like 33 at the same strike price and then sold it for, I panicked, sold it at 26 because GameStop uh, ha had a little bit of sell-off towards the end of the day uh, and I didn't want to hold it overnight. Uh, but so far today has been panning out pretty well. Uh, so I'm still keeping an eye on the 265 option, see if uh, GameStop goes a little bit lower. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, selling off a little bit right now. Uh, if it goes to about 260, I think I might go ahead and get back in because um, you can see the, the option price is starting to drop. Um, and as GameStop goes lower, the way I think of it is de-risking the stock and makes it less risky that it will go down a little bit further but it is GameStop, so it's completely gambling. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna wait until it gets into the uh, 259 range before I think I go in for the option, because uh, it looks like it's starting to jump up and down a little bit. Uh, right now we got 2670 for the option. Um, so it's getting close to my buy range. Um, so I'm gonna give it a little bit to see where GameStop's headed. Currently 263. All right, uh, okay, so it's getting close, getting close. Um, I'm gonna see if I could enter a buy limit. Um, so I wanna put the limit price at 25 and see if we could get executed. 25 for one contract, good for the day. Okay, so it's currently 27.15, so it's starting to go back up because GameStop did a little bit of a bounce, it looks like. So now we play a little bit of a waiting game. So let's see if we can get in here for close to that 25 price. I'm willing to come up a little bit just because I think GameStop has a potential to go back to like 270 range um, here uh, in just a couple minutes, I feel like, just because it is bouncing a lot. All right, well, um, Okay, 265, let's go ahead and change this to 26 for the uh, strike, well, for the limit price. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and review the order and see if we could get executed. Okay, so I placed the, uh, <laughs> the call order, uh, so we'll see if we get executed. And hopefully I don't catch a falling knife, because that is another risk I take when I uh, hit the uh, limit order. Because uh, if it falls dramatically, it's going to hit my strike price and uh, I'm going to get it for 26, even though it could be falling dramatically. But uh, so it looks like my break even at this point would be about 292 on GameStop, which is not out of the question based on how volatile GameStop is. Uh, so we're going to see where this goes. Uh, and hopefully I get executed here soon. If I don't get executed here uh, in the short term, I might cancel the option because um, I don't want to hold it for too long. Because uh, I do just, uh, I'm buying this with the intention to just dra day trade it back off um, and hopefully make a little bit of a profit there. But I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording now that I'm waiting for um, uh, that to get executed and I will resume if it does get executed.
All right, so now I'm updating because we ended up getting uh, executed on that. So now I have one contract uh, for the $26. Uh, just want to make sure. Yep. Uh, so I got that one for $26. Currently at 2640 because it just executed. So now I got to give uh, GameStop a couple minutes. Hopefully it does a little bit of a bounce and doesn't fall any further. Um, so right now I'm up $33. We'll see if uh, that changes at all. Um, and looks like it's currently going in the right direction. Hopefully that continues. Um, I am I plan to get out of it. At, um, if we could get at least 28, uh, I'd be happy with that and it's going that way but uh ideally i'd want to sell out at 29 or above so we'll see if gamestop can uh go ahead trend up a little bit and hopefully we could get to that 270 range which might bring us to uh the the strike price of well, all the uh, limit price i'm trying to get so we'll see what happens Okay, 27.23. Okay, so we, we're we looking pretty good so far. Uh, what's what's funny is I haven't been down on the option yet, knock on wood, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, all right, so update. Uh, GameStop took a turn and is down about $10, which means the call option has dropped uh, $4 in value or about $400. Uh, so I'm still going to hold on to it and hope for a rebound. Um Otherwise, uh, I'll just be uh, <laughs> I'll just be holding on to it to see what happens. If if it continues this way, it is what it is. But I'm hoping it'll have a little bit of a reversal, like I had earlier today. It did the same thing, where it uh, was up a little bit, dropped about ten dollars, and then started shooting up and went all the way up to two eighty. Uh, so I'm hoping we could get back up into those 260 ranges, and I could at least get back to breaking even or maybe a little profit there. So I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we are back to breaking even and I'm now up $18. Holding these calls is such a whirlwind of emotions. Okay, now okay, now we're back up to 27. Okay, now I'm a little tempted to sell because I was down $400. Now I'm up $100. I don't know what to do because GameStop made a made a comeback. It's two sixty three. I one thing I've learned with uh, doing these calls is you really should not get greedy. Because look, there there goes my gains right there. <laughs> I got greedy. Now nah, now my gains are backing uh, are gone. Uh, so that's one thing uh, you really have to uh, <laughs> watch out for is getting greedy. Because once once you hit those prices where you want it to get at uh, and you don't take it, odds are it's gonna go back down. So. Um, I, I should not have gotten greedy. I should have just taken my money and ran. Uh, now that GameStop's back up, because uh, uh, I, was, I was very happy to be uh, breaking even. Now I'm down $20 again. So quite a whirlwind of emotions here. Um, I think if we could get back to that 27 range, I'll go ahead and cash it out, because I do not want to hold this overnight. And uh, uh, I'd just be happy to <laughs> go ahead, get my money, and get out of here. Uh, but let's see uh 262 yeah i just don't want it to start downtrending again is my fear um but i'm gonna go ahead and put in my limit order for 27 i think so if it taps that again i could go ahead and cash out and i won't have to worry about my uh, call option expiring which is a risk uh i i take if it does not um execute today so i'm gonna go ahead and place that uh so now it's sold zero out of one, so I have to wait for it to actually go back up to a strike price of uh, a, a limit price of $27. Uh, Hopefully it could get executed and I could go ahead and get out of this trade and take that stress off my chest. Because uh, uh, if the thing is, uh, I um, th this call that I'm playing with is pretty risky because it expires tomorrow. So if GameStop is not at least 265 a share by tomorrow, uh, this contract is going to expire worthless. So <laughs> I definitely do not like to hold these calls overnight because if GameStop opens up any lower, this call is going to be worth about a penny. So I definitely don't want that situation to play out. So uh, I'm just playing it safe and hopefully we can get um this executed currently 2568 so little down but it's not too far away hopefully gamestop can uh just jump up a couple dollars so we could get that executed 
All right, so now I can update you guys. So the contract just sold for 2700 so that means I made $100. I'm just happy I wasn't down on this trade. But hey, now I could go buy me about a uh, third of a game sh uh, GameStop share now. So I'll go ahead and throw that money back at GameStop because GameStop just made me 100 bucks there. So I'm happy with that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Was a little bit stressful trying to play with that, but it's always fun. I know it's gambling, so I could totally lose all that money. Uh, but uh, I was happy with that. I'm happy I came out ahead, uh, but hopefully. <laughs> but that is all for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did, and hopefully I'll see you guys in, our, in my next video.